Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In today's video, we're going to go over how to run our Selenium tests using Taurus. The Taurus tool provides a simple way to create and run and analyze performance tests and is closely associated to BlazeMeter. Before we get started, we'll go over the setup. The first thing we will do is install our dependencies for Taurus. Then we will create the Taurus directory where we will store our configurations, then create the Taurus YAML file, and finally run the Selenium tests on Taurus. The first thing we need to do is to install Taurus. We'll do so by running pip install bzt. Next, we will create a Taurus directory within the tests directory. With our Taurus directory created, we can now create our YAML file. I'm going to call my YAML file just test.yaml. At the top of our YAML file, we'll start off entering execution. Next, we'll enter executor, selenium. What the executor does is defines that the test will be executed by Selenium tests. Next up is concurrency. For the purpose of this example, we will set it to one, but concurrency is the number of concurrent users that will be ran per second. Next is ramp up. We will set the ramp up to 15 seconds, but ramp up is the duration of time it takes the test to ramp up to the number of concurrent users entered within concurrency. Next up is hold for. Hold for is the duration of time that the test will remain at the concurrent users entered. Next is iterations. This is an optional parameter, however we will set it to 1 for the purpose of this example. Iterations, if set, the test will complete after the set of iterations entered. Next will be scenario. Scenario is simply the title of the test scenario that will be ran within the scenario section. Now that we have that completed, we can create our scenario section. Scenarios is again the list of scenarios that will be ran during the test. After that, we simply call the scenario title that we entered above. In our case, this will be search-test. And then finally, we have script. Script is the location of the Selenium file that will be ran during the scenario. With our YAML file completed, we can now save and then simply run. To run the script on Taurus, we simply run bzt and then a path to the YAML file. As you can see, Taurus has started up and our browser should open. And we are now running our Selenium test through Taurus. In today's video, we covered how to run Selenium tests using Taurus. Let me know if you like this style of video by hitting the like button down below. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel, please do so now. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.